Morning. We're here at the ETC booth on Sunday morning to see the new Progeny Variable Speed rigging uh, and the Foundation controller. I've got Michael Lichter here with me, and he's the product manager. Technical product. Manager. Technical product manager for the Foundation controller system, which is their innovative way of controlling the rigging system. Morning. All right. Good morning, controlbooth.com. Um, I'd like to take you a little bit through the control system we uh, came up with for the Prodigy Hoist. Uh, the system is called Foundation Control System. Uh, the nice thing about it is it's very easy to install. All you need between here and up there is a one cat 5 wire. It's not Ethernet, it's just one wire. There's no intermediate uh, drive cabinets or anything. That's all you need here. The system itself, um, that's all it is. It's about three and a half inches deep. Uh, it has a multi-touch screen up here. Uh, the touch screen is controlled by an ambient light sensor, so the intensity dims up and down depending on your ambient light condition. On the bottom here we have our control surface, which can easily be locked up. And once you want to control it, you just roll it out and there's your joystick and your go buttons. Joystick lights up and also the go buttons light up if they have any function. You can log into the system and the system allows you to have different user credentials which have different user access levels to the system itself. Once you're logged in, you're in the manual movement screen and that screen you can utilize for setting up your show. So everything you need to do to set up your show, you can pretty much do from here. So bring in battens, load up your battens and also set up trims for your uh, system which you can utilize later on. Low trim, high trim, a couple of trims in the middle if you need to. You can also name your hoists and do other things. The whole system itself, it's fanless. There's no rotating parts inside so it's completely quiet operation. It's solid state hard drive and also if you don't operate it, it goes to sleep and the screen dims down a little bit. Uh, the system itself, manual screen, we have presets built in. Presets is a means to set up certain uh, scenarios on stage. So your band rehearsal, your movie night, you want to bring in your screen for the moving lights, a couple of borders and everything. That's very easy to do here. You just recall that preset, hit the go button, and a couple of hoists move in and others move out. Uh, we have a cue stack built in. On the top of the cue stack, it's very easy to implement uh, which hoists need to be at what kind of position. On the bottom, on the bottom you can uh, then easily uh, set up at what kind of speed or what kind of time do they get to their relevant destination. Um, and then on playback you can select a hoist, hit the go button and the hoist travel to that location. In that uh, situation the joystick becomes a speed control and it's very easy to override the speed all the way to standstill if the actor isn't on stage yet or push it forward and it's happening it's happening faster. Um, we looked at our target market and uh, what we discovered is um, a lot of users jump back between various uh, systems in the theater so lighting control system, audio, rigging and other systems so since we know a little bit about lighting control, we thought about, well, how about we make it as simple and easy to use as possible and utilize similar conventions we have on our lighting products. So wherever possible and wherever sensible, obviously rigging is very different from lighting, but we are using the same conventions in terms of color code, language and cues, those kind of things. So users instantly feel at home if they jump between systems and that's a huge benefit for us here. Um, but again, the whole system can control up to 48 hoists and that can be anything from variable, fixed speed, any combination of the two. That was kind of the five minute introduction to the system. I want to hand over to Harvey Sweet our technical product manager for the rigging control uh, for hoists. Good morning. Uh, the uh, control system, the foundation control system, is really the heart of what is going on with the hoist that makes them viable as uh, a variable speed as well as a fixed speed hoist. However, the control system doesn't make any sense unless it's driving something and what we're driving are the fixed and the variable speed hoists. The fixed speed hoists operate at 30 feet per minute uh, and that's a fixed speed that's 
not going to change. Uh, the variable speed hoist is designed to operate at zero to 180 feet per minute. The control of that operation obviously is by the foundation. Uh, the uh, variable speed hoist, just like the fixed speed hoist, has a number of safety features built into it. Uh, those safety features include not only load profiling and slack line detection, uh, but also the ability to control the range of travel. We limit it to 50 feet of travel because of the design of the machine. Uh, we have designed these machines to be easy to install. They're easy for the uh, installers to put in place, to use or not use the compression tube. The hoist itself is designed for use with the compression tube and we have come up with just recently modifications to allow these hoists to be installed in facilities that have the uh, structure in place to uh, allow the hoist to be the rigging system uh, without the addition of the compression tube. The value of that is in facilities that are already counterweight facilities where the steel is in place and they're updating their systems to motorization and uh, with the compression tube uh, we can take the lateral stresses off of the building and for new construction that allows the uh, designers to build a lighter weight building uh, with less steel, less structure, less bracing. Without the compression tube, we still need that bracing in place. And in most remodels and restorations, that structure is already there, and we don't have to, uh, we don't have to add the compression tube to do that. So it uh, keeps this an economic system for those applications. In that use, uh, we also uh, have developed a loft block that is intended to reduce the amount of resultant load that is imposed on the building structure. It probably reduces the resultant load over traditional loft blocks by about 30 percent, so there's less rotational force on the structure, less force pulling across the frame of the building. The combination of the power head with the compression tube, with the loft blocks, or without gives us one of the uh, safest, least uh, stressing systems in the industry.